Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, it's been a minute since I've talked to all of you, so what's new? <laughs> uh, that's a loaded question, right? Well, I'll just give you a rundown on what's new out here. As far as the weather goes, uh, hot and very dry conditions persist. Uh, the water's still holding up pretty good, but yeah, in some real need of rain. So in the past couple of weeks since I last saw you guys, I have been all over this island talking to a lot of people that I know. And everyone's talking about the same thing, right? The news of the day. Bar none. It's on everybody's mind. So I thought it'd be a good time to go over like uh, the whole contingency plans for uncertain times. Which... I've always tried to do living off grid and even now and yeah I don't know what to do all the time now <laughs> and the one thing that I've always told people over the years is food water and shelter and everything after that is gravy and it's really coming down to those basics I believe got to keep the food water and shelter thing in place and that can be challenging no matter where you live. And there's the possibility for a little food at some point in time. I mean, those can be worth their weight in gold here pretty quick. Or barter. And as much as I've talked about solar on this channel over the years, um, except for the fact of keeping your food preserved and being able to cook it on solar, which I can easily do now. Uh, the overabundance of solar that I have uh, is more of a luxury uh, than an absolute necessity because I can cook food without solar, uh, but by stocking up extra food for uh, you know, disruption in services out here, the way we're accustomed to getting food, which we are now starting to see shortages of things. So that may get worse. And I had every intention of in the past couple of weeks doing uh, some a battery review and getting back on that power queen that I left you guys hanging a couple of weeks ago about getting that thing up and running. And I've got a battery a new battery that came out to me literally on a slow boat from China and it's been stuck down at the port for reasons I don't know. I mean, it's actually on the island. I've not taken possession of it yet. So as soon as whatever paperwork that I am unclear about needs to be cleared up, uh, maybe because it came from China, I have no idea. Most of my batteries from review always come from the mainland of the United States, and they just get delivered right to my home here. Uh, this one ended up down at the port for reasons that are unclear to me. And I've contacted them and they say, yeah, we've got it, but uh, it hasn't cleared the port. And that's been a little while. So as soon as that gets cleared up, I'm gonna get back onto a, a battery review and uh, get that power queen back up and running at some point too but in the meantime i've been running around doing a lot of other things so yeah food water and shelter so as of right now i've got uh all of that covered and i keep trying to develop a contingency plan for some other things that are going on or might possibly happen I've talked to many people just in the past week talking about their portfolios. <laughs> so for those of you that have a portfolio, I probably don't need to say anything more about that. So yeah, everyone's a little jittery right now. So I really wanna hear from you guys too. I mean, we're all in the same boat, right? That's the way I look at it. We're all in the same boat. Regardless of anything else, we're all in the same boat. What are maybe some of your contingency plans going forward? What are you thinking about? I really want to hear that. 
uh, give me some different ideas. I, I keep coming back to food, water, and shelter. I've got that covered, at least for the uh, near short term anyway. I mean, all of my solar is just cranking. Everything's full early in the day, of course, this time of year. So no issue about power whatsoever. So are you 100% relying on the powers that be to give you your power, uh, for example? And if you are, maybe a little power station, such as something like this, or something like this that I've showed you guys. I mean, you know, maybe you might want to think about a little backup power if you don't have any. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Just get one big enough that can run your hot plate. Cook up a burger, whatever it is you want to cook up. That's my only suggestion is besides your devices, you might need to cook a little food, so... There's plenty of that out there, you guys all know. Most of you that are following the channel and have for a while, you have all these kind of things, but on the chance that we get some new people coming in here, looking around about what I'm talking about, uh, you should be thinking about these things, I believe. Have a little backup to your backup, especially if you're 100% relying on somebody else for those things. I think it's... The times dictate that uh, be thinking a little more. What can I do to help myself? I don't think anyone's coming to the rescue. And I am just racking my brain because, as you guys know, you know, I have backups for basically everything that I rely on. And that just doesn't feel like quite enough right now. And I can't come up with what else I need to be thinking about. So... I'm relying on you guys. What are you doing out there? Food, water, and shelter. Yeah, that's not going to ever not be popular. Luckily, my great big avocado tree is got tons and tons of avocados on it. Looks like it's going to be a great year. They're going to take a little while to get up to harvesting but it looks like it might be a bumper crop this year which in the past few years has been lacking and I don't fully understand why it's doing so well this year but it looks good and I love and eat a lot of avocado so that'll be nice to have some on site so yeah I just want to report from from the island here how things are going we are seeing like I've mentioned some interruption and in some supplies so far, so good, um, but we're only like one cargo ship of getting delayed or not showing up to change that. And people are starting to be thinking about that a little bit more. I don't want to add another freezer. <laughs> uh, shoot. Yeah, I run a lot of blanks thinking about all of this. Normally, in my 30 plus years of living off grid, I've always thought, oh, if this happens, if this kind of a storm, if that kind of a storm, uh, the storm we're seeing now, yeah, that wasn't in my dreams over the years, not even in my wildest dreams. Oh, we might have thought about it once in a while, but nothing looked like it was going to happen. Things are happening. So I've always taken great pains not to be political on this channel of course i have my own opinions about what's going on and i will still just hold those close to the vest but these things that i'm talking about uh regardless of that are things that you should be thinking about so i just keep coming back to food water and shelter food water and shelter that feels like something i can keep my attention on I can always be thinking about that. Um, got plenty of power. Uh, the water situation here is the thing that can change most drastically for where I'm at. Uh, if it doesn't start raining, then, then water becomes very expensive. And I've not had to include that into any operating costs out here. That could change. 
So all of the people that I did see over the past couple of weeks, uh, again, there was no real political conversation going on, but everyone was saying, wow, what to do now, what to do now? And where I could help, I helped pointing out like maybe where they could change some of their solar stuff around, be a little more efficient, things of that nature. And uh, everyone, every single person was saying, hmm, feeling the pressures of the times right now. And we're all in the same boat. That kept coming up too, and we are. So it didn't matter like what side of a fence you might be on. Uh, we're all riding in the same little boat, little dinghy right now, getting tossed around. So all in all, what I'll say is in all my runnings around, I'm just trying to help people calm down a little bit. Stay relaxed as best as you can. That's what you need uh, besides your good nutrition uh, and some exercise and good rest for sure. I mean, you need all of that to stay healthy. And too much stress is, is no good. And everyone's feeling a little bit of the pressure right now. So uh, I'm doing what I can. I'll elaborate that on, uh, in a further bit at some point of how I might be doing that. <laughs> but I am a solar channel mostly, right? So I'll save that for another day. But trying to get everyone just to settle down, be relaxed, do what you can. And if you're doing what you can, that'll help calm your nerves, relax you a little bit. Anything you might be able to add to your situation along those big three, uh, I think will help you sleep better at night because you're going to need your sleep. And I really, really want everybody to be okay. That's my main focus from day to day with everybody I encounter is I want everyone to be okay, doing what I can to help that situation. I could have made a ton of videos about my past couple of weeks, but a lot of the people I uh, have been seeing are camera shy and private, of course, so uh, I always respect that. But some of these people we're gonna visit in future videos so I can show you guys what other people are doing, especially in the off-grid community out here. But it applies to no matter where you might be living. You can, you can implement a lot of these things in to your daily life. But yeah, breathe. Try to relax and help each other out. Help each other out everywhere you can. Help your neighbors, help your friends, help your relatives. There's a lot of places you can direct our energy for the well being of everybody. That's my plan. Besides bringing you a a new 48 volt battery here. <laughs> yeah. I want you all to take care, chime in. Some ideas you guys have. It's always good to just like kind of touch a sub subject and see what you guys have to say about it and, and see what else we can be thinking about for what's going on. A lot of it is kind of out of our control, right? Or most of it is out of our control. So just control what we can. I will do my best not to be a stranger with you guys. This is about as long as I've gone without making a video, and I've just been sitting around twiddling my thumbs for the past several days going, hmm, yeah, everything I had kind of written down that I was going to talk to you guys about just hasn't come to fruition. So be well. I'll catch you on the next one, and uh, I'm going to take you around the island a little bit here coming up and introduce you to some other other ways people are getting things done out here. Aloha. Catch you guys on the next one.